Hey there, it's Lenny. Um, Saw is back. So I just got out of Saw 10 or Saw X. Uh, one of the things that we're gonna do on the channel, uh, I'm just gonna throw some immediate thoughts of some of the newer movies that are out there. So like I said, I just got out of Saw X. And I gotta tell you, you know, it's, it's kinda nice to have Saw back in theaters for Halloween. Um, I'm, I won't say that I'm a, the biggest Saw follower. I mean, I've seen all of them. I, I know the lore, but it's not like something that I'm, you know, crazy over. But uh, I do like the first two Saws uh, the best. And I do want to say that Saw X is kind of a return to four. So uh, basically, um, we have the Jigsaw Killer, John Kramer. Uh, played by Tobin Bell. Uh, this actually takes place between Saw 1 and Saw 2. I just want to let you guys know about that. So this play takes place between Saw 1 and Saw 2. Um, John Kramer is desperate for a cure for uh, his cancer. He's told that uh, there's an experimental drug uh, treatment that he can get in Mexico. So he goes over there. But then he finds out that he's actually been conned. And um, yeah, he decides that he's going to go for uh, retribution. Actually, no, he doesn't. He says, this is a retribution. This is a reawakening. And obviously that's kind of the thing with the uh, Saw movies. It's all about um, Jigsaw giving people a choice uh, to live or die based off of actions that they have taken. And I have to say, um, you know, like I said, this is a return to form for uh, the uh, the Saw franchise. It's really uh, creepy, moody. Uh, the traps, I have to say, are are actually something else because we're, we're in Mexico. And one of the things that I'm still trying to wrap my head around is trying to figure out how um, Jigsaw or how John Kramer was able to design some of the traps he did. And some of the traps are kind of really um, old school, they're really dirty and grimy, and you can tell they're um, something that just kind of would have been put together uh, just on a workbench, you know, um, and that kind of en enjoy that. And, and you know, everything with the, uh, the saw traps, they're not as, they're elaborate, but yet they still feel lived in. There's a lot of trains. I mean, if I, I guess if you're like a a dominatrix you probably would like this movie a lot a lot of chains in this um but um the traps are cool um you know a lot of people are going to come to these saw movies to see the the traps and how they work um really inventive and um you know tobin bell as john kramer uh you know he he brings these movies up um you know whenever he's not the main focus of the saw movies i think the quality um suffers a little bit but Tobin Bell himself um, is able to, to bring some some gravitas. And funny enough, this isn't like a straight up gore fest. The, the first half of the movie, you actually follow John Kramer's journey as he, um, you know, goes for the treatments, he gets tested. Uh, he You feel his hope and his hopelessness at the same time. Uh, so the first half of the movie isn't a quote unquote Saw movie. We actually don't get into like the Saw stuff probably until the second half. But I did like the build up to it because it does make you feel for him, which is crazy because he's a serial killer. He's, he's a psychopath, but you, you do feel for his plight as a cancer patient and you do feel for it even more when he's even robbed um, or you know when he's taken advantage of um, and you know that that once that happens and uh, he realizes uh, what's going on uh, yeah the, those people don't uh, don't have a lot of time left uh, in in their lives uh, but this was like I said a return to form for the Saw franchise. Um, I, I definitely like it a lot better than uh, some of the other ones. Spiral, for example, I wasn't a big fan of. Um, I think Saw 3 and 4 I wasn't a big fan of. This was kind of closer to, to the first two uh, with, with a little bit of a twist in a different location and everything like that. But um, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm not doing like the Lenny's thing. I'll just say, you know, if I think if it's a, a good enough uh, movie to see in the theater, but I definitely recommend it. Um, probably will win the box office this this weekend. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, those are my immediate thoughts on uh, Saw X. What are your thoughts? If you've seen it, um, leave your comments uh, below. Uh, also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon for notifications. See you next time.